Hi, I'm Michael O'Keefe, and this is The Mock Project. Welcome back to another episode of The Mock Project and thank you to everyone that has liked and subscribed and has kept following me this term. It's been very busy. My apologies, I haven't been able to get a video out each week, uh, but hopefully I have some great content for you today and over the next couple of months as we get towards the end of the year. Look, it's been an extremely busy term and I've got lots and lots of events to show you. So let's start having a look. Well, happy Sunday, everyone. I'm standing here at the train station about to head into the city to see the hit musical Come From Away, which is this year on the Year 12 Theatre Studies playlist. So meeting the students for an early dinner and then we're heading to the Comedy Theatre for a six o'clock start. So it's not always that a musical gets onto the VC study list, so very, very happy to have one on there. It's my favourite theatre genre, and Come From Away was so good that I ended up going again with my family about a month after I saw it with the students. So for them, it's going to be on their exam at the end of the year, and hopefully when they're in that exam, they're going to remember all the great moments from the show. Well, I'm filming this and not knowing when and if it will be released, but today I had an interview uh, at work for a promotion. So for a role that sits on our executive, or at our school we call it consult team, uh, but yeah, essentially senior executive. So a, a sort of big step up from where I am at the moment as a head of department. So if I get the role, I'll release this video. If I don't, well, that's it you won't have ever seen it um, and if I move into this role I certainly still will be very much involved in the performing arts but uh, this role um, takes on some other areas of the school in including promotions and media uh, and community engagement working with our ex-students association working with uh, our parent association um, school magazine all those sort of areas so looking forward to that if that transpires. So many of you would have seen already on my Instagram page and feel free to follow me at The Mock Project on Instagram that yes, I did get that job. So a little promotion here, well, some say a big promotion here at the school that I'm at. So I'll no longer be the head of performing arts next year, but the role still has a performing arts flavor because I'm essentially the school's MC uh, the school's contact for any communications that go external. So I'll be hosting a lot of events, arranging a lot of big events, and it is our 40th anniversary next year here at our school, so I'm overseeing some of our celebrations. Well, here I am at work. It is about 7.30 at night, and this is the first night of our Grade 6, Year 7 orientation program. We have the students here in rooms working with some of our Year 11 and 12 leaders while the parents are in the hall uh, having conversations with the principal and the deputy principals really about what it is to come to our school, sort of what our ethos and values are. So that was a great orientation evening for those students and they'll be back at school again in Term 4 doing some more orientation. Uh, getting a tour of the school, being into some more classrooms, but what a great welcome for them, a really great initiative that started a few years ago at our school and hopefully the transition is much smoother for those students. <laughs> So 
one of the things we like to do is bring theatre into our school and that way we can show a bigger variety of students. It, it can be difficult at times to take year nine or 10 groups out at night time to see theatre. Sometimes they're just not used to it uh, and there can be issues around um, supervision and, and behaviour at times because you've still got students that aren't sure whether theatre is their thing and so they can play up occasionally. So bringing theatre into the space uh, means that you're still giving them that access. And this show is called The Stones and it's actually based on a true story about two boys that dropped some rocks off a bridge here in Melbourne and it hit a car and the driver died. Uh, and so a Zeal Theatre Company, who we've worked with before, came in and presented uh, this work to our students. And years 9 to 11 saw this show and all of them needed to write on it after the show. 5,000 bucks! My parents never had 5,000 bucks. His did. They paid. So we had a great professional development day with a guy called Glenn Gehring who looked at the hopeful high school and he really challenged us to think about what is something that we could do next year that's within our budget, within our resources, that could make our school more hopeful. And all the faculties did this and it was really, really great. An opportunity to think big, big picture. And our faculty came up with some amazing ideas around how we can make the experiences for our students in performing arts all the better. And it's real warm down there. And, you know, life is a lot more languid and relaxed. And so my way of speaking just reflects my lifestyle. And everything takes a little bit longer. And because I, I've started, it's absolutely necessary that my secretary pays attention to that problem. Now, this amazing woman has appeared on The Mock Project before. Suzanne Haywood uh, is an accent and vocal expert, has taught at universities and theatre companies across the world, including the wonderful Hugh Jackman uh, as one of her students. And we got Suzanne in again. You may remember she was in last time to work with the Addams Family cast. This time she was working with our Year 12 drama and theatre students on their accents for their up coming exams. Or the Wongs, or maybe even the Queens. It depends. Yeah. But that's exactly right. Now. Now, I've been waiting for over a year to see this show, but Harry Potter is here in Melbourne. The only other two places are New York City and the West End, so we are very lucky. And I've been waiting a year and finally got to go. It is amazing. It is the best play that I've ever seen. Those of you that know and follow The Mock Project know that musical theatre is, in fact, my favourite form of theatre. But for straight theatre, this was the best. Some of the magic tricks, I still don't know how they do it. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen the show, it is in two parts. Both parts go for about 2 hours 20, 2 hours 10, 20 plus interval. So... If you see it on the same day, which I did, it's a very long day, about five and a half hours worth of content. But my daughter came with me as well as my wife and we all thoroughly enjoyed Harry Potter. <laughs> Believe it or not, it has been about 10 weeks since the Adams Family graced the stage. So what we did uh, last week is held a reunion, invited all the cast, crew, orchestra back for a night where we enjoyed some pizza together, played some games and in fact watched the show uh, back from start to finish that we filmed on the nights. We also revealed next year's musical which I'm so proud to announce that we are doing Mary Poppins for our 2020 school musical. And what's really exciting with that is it's the school's 40th anniversary. So it's such a great show to do in a celebratory year. On the north east of North America, on an island called Newfoundland, there's an airport. It used to be one of the biggest airports in the world. And next to it is a town called Gander. Don't tell a rock if you come from away. Hey! I understand about it. 
And to finish off the term this week, we had our music annual music concert, a huge concert, uh, two and a half hours of solos, choirs, bands, rock bands, our big orchestra, our symphonic band. Uh, a really great night showcasing all the talent at our school. So it was very exciting to be involved with that. I helped out with some of the lighting uh, and projections for the night uh, and also just being an assistant to our director of music, Nick. Uh, but really a great night and a little sad too because our Year 12's music students, for them, it was their final performance. So a great night and look forward to the next concert, which will be next year. So there you have it, five weeks of school crammed into one mock project. And that is pretty much it for term three. Next week we have our VC showcase uh, where all our VC students will perform their exam task in front of some assessors for feedback. And we have an end of term assembly, which I'll be involved with. I'm gonna put some of that stuff in the next episode of the mock project. If you haven't subscribed or liked any of the videos yet, that would be great if you could. Thank you for to everyone for their support. Until next time, this has been The Mock Project.